Hello Future Island, today is the 1st of April 2021. Exactly five years ago today, I started out on this project where I tried to record a video every second day for two whole years and for the most part I succeeded. But now, five years on, I want to do this again. And I want to do it bigger, better and more impressive. The past year has been insane. There's been a giant global pandemic that no one really expected to be as bad as it was. And we're just now seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm doing this now because I think the next two years are going to be pretty exciting. There is a lot to look forward to. There's hope. People are getting vaccinated and there are dozens of different vaccine types that people can take. The Perseverance rover landed on Mars recently, despite the fact that the world is going through chaos. There is a lot to look forward to and I cannot wait to get to do things that are more exciting. But I would like to go on record and just to show exactly what this life was like. Because as shit and as traumatic as this past year has been, I worry that I'm going to forget it. I think I'm going to just move on and not properly understand what life was like. And I think coming out of it is going to be an exciting time as well. The world is looking positive. Things are changing, things are opening back up. Today, I was able to get a haircut for the first time in nine whole months. So this hair right here, this is fresh. And I miss it, I miss having short hair. I was not enjoying the long hair. Because you know, it's fun to grow out your hair to a point, but when it starts getting in your mouth all the time, oh jeez. I'm happy that I'm at least able to leave my house and get some things done. Ideally, I'd be able to travel around a bit more because, you know, I'm in college, I'm studying in continental Europe. This is not where I grew up. I want to be able to travel more. This is the time to do that. But no, instead I have to stay inside and do all of my lectures on a laptop. I haven't seen any of my classmates since, oh, September and even then that was just like one day I haven't had a proper external life I've been trapped in these four walls this whole time so I cannot wait to be able to move on as I said five years ago today I started this project and I did it for two years so what's going to be different this time around personally I think that as a 20 year old I'm better at this, maybe? I don't know. The audio quality in this room is probably awful, which I'm... Mm, that needs to get some uh, improvements. But I believe I can improve the production quality of this significantly. I'm in college now, so I'll be able to go, go out more. I don't even live with my parents, so I'll be able to, you know, talk more freely. I also got an Osmo Pocket. And I figured this is going to be a really useful tool in getting shots from outside. Because I don't like filming on my phone because that's awkward having to hold it sideways like this to get a good shot. But this, this is like a modern version of a flip cam. This can quickly get high quality video and it's got a gimbal on it. What I want to do this time around is I want to get a lot more video from outside of my bedroom. So instead of just having a talking head, show more video of what's going on outside some more dynamic shots. I would like it to be higher quality. I'd like to edit the videos more because the first time round, yeah, I recorded the videos, but then I didn't edit them. This time around, I want these videos to not just be a collection of footage, but to be, you know, something that you can watch. I hope to be able to, you know, upload these videos to YouTube and have them be, you know, watchable. Future Alan, I'll see you tomorrow.